quintessential quintuplets is over, and I say with no exaggeration that I am a little sad, um, but also happy that it ended the way it did, and that it didn't drag out, and this ending was inevitable, the writing was on the wall, um, I know when I first, like, caught up with the series, I said that the way that the story was going was probably going to end sometime around, like, chapter 120, and that that's exactly what happened, it was 122, uh, I believe, that it, the last chapter, yeah, it was, uh, chapter 122, uh, I just read it and decided I, I needed to do this video. Uh, this is not a review. This is not any kind of analysis. Uh, this is not part of the breakdown series I'm doing. Uh, this is... This is processing. This is me thinking about this series and what it has done for me. Um... Is that, uh, I, I think that's the right phrase. I have no script. Uh, I wanted this to be just fully off the top of my head and from the heart. Uh, it's been less than a year. Um, and it feels like it's it's always been there for me. Um, it'll be, it's been about 11 months since I first uh, sat down and started reading it. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, uh, when I first started reading the manga, I was up for about 27 hours reading it off and on and, and doing some other stuff, hanging out with friends and, and uh, working on uh, whatever video I was working on at the time, whatever video I came out with in uh, March of last year. Uh... But it's, it's been a great year, a great 12 months, and this is a large reason why. Uh, it's almost like my schedule kind of started getting fixated around quintuplets. Like, around the same time every day, I, w I would check Reddit and Discord and, and spam the servers with uh, all the art I, I I uh, collected from various avenues, uh, Twitter, Reddit, the Gotoban Discord, and then I would put them on uh, the Break Room Discord, which is the one that uh, is linked in the description. And I say with no hyperbole and with no hint of exaggeration that this is... My favorite rom-com of all time. And that no story has hooked me the way that this did. There's been other shows I have been invested in. Probably even more invested in than Quintuplets. Uh, Naruto comes in mind. Uh, I follow Naruto off and on for uh, about a decade. <laughs> so... When that ended, it was like, oh my god, this is ten years of my life that, that are over now. Um, and much like Naruto, I know that this is not really the end. Um, there will still be some fan projects. Neji Haruba has already announced that he's working on a new thing, and I will be there right out the gate as soon as it drops. Uh, he has earned that from me. He is such a fantastic writer and a fantastic conceiver of characters and a great artist as well uh the the art in gotoban uh quintuplets is um very very well done uh it, it's not quite as like mind-blowing or overly detailed as like oda's set pieces in one piece or um so, something like bleach with the its use of shading but it's it does it more than just gets the job done. It's it's a much better looking manga than, say, uh, Demon Slayer, which is also <laughs> ending pretty soon. Um, within like the next fifteen chapters, I have no idea how long that's gonna go. Uh, 
if I didn't love the series as much as I do, if if I really was just playing it up, I, I wouldn't be here doing this video, and I wouldn't be doing uh, the breakdowns. Um, which, speaking of which, another reason why this isn't, like, really over is Season 2 was just announced. It's coming out in October, which is gonna be a painful wait. Uh, particularly because I already promised that, uh... Parts 5 through 8 of my Quintessential Breakdown series will be coming out in conjunction with Season 2, because I will be using clips from those, because those are the arcs that Season 2 is most likely going to cover, and I, I wanted to, I, I wanted as many of these Breakdown videos to look as visually engaging as possible using the anime before I have to switch over to the manga for the second half of the series, uh, from like, um the new school year arc all the way to the end. Um, this series has lodged itself in my brain and in my heart, and I I can't contemplate um, the possibility of forgetting it. I, I will never forget this. I will always love this series and talk about it whenever I can. Because, uh, again, I don't think a series has really hooked me the way this has. And it's fully because of the characters. And some of the stuff hits really close to home. Uh, the stuff with Miku and Itsuki, especially... Like, uh, in one of the last chapters when Itsuki says, like, a fruitless relationship can be beautiful, too. And, and she says that, and then it, it flashes, like, her head resting on Futuro's shoulder. Uh, and that's another thing. Like, the this is such an intriguing story. And I, I already said I'm not going to get into details or analysis or anything. But it's a harem with five quintuplets and... The most interesting stuff is how they interact with each other. Uh, I'm not big on the harem genre. I'm not overly familiar with it, but I do know from people who are much more familiar with it, whose opinions I trust and believe, that one of the weaknesses of the harem genre is that the the romantic interests are kind of forced together by circumstance, and the only thing their only interactions are fighting over the guy, and there's bit of that in quintuplets too particularly there's an entire arc called the sisters war where they're just trying to screw each other over and, and get Futuro's attention and get alone time with Futuro and it's one of the better arcs in the series though I'm not quite hyped about how it ultimately panned out uh thought it was a little weak I, I kind of expected better from the series which is to say that this is by no means uh, a perfect series there are weaknesses in, in some of the writing uh for romantic comedy i don't find it all that particularly funny uh it it gets a good chuckle every once in a while every couple chapters will have a really good chuckle worthy moment uh but the strength in the series is is in the drama and in the passion uh in, in the emotions the sadness the anger the the pain uh again uh, particularly with yotsuba and Ichika in that case. Uh, yeah, I, I'm i going to miss this series. Uh, I hope whatever Neji Haruba has cooking up is, you know, it's worth the wait and it's worth the hype. Uh, if, this, if this was his uh, freshman outing, if this was his... We'll, we'll see. We'll see if this was really his warm-up or if he... Or if he'll be um, a one-hit wonder like uh, M. Night Shyamalan. I know M. Night Shyamalan has more than one good movie, but none of his other movies are anywhere near as good as Sixth Sense. So we'll, we'll see if Neji Haruba uh, is able to top this. I doubt it. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm not going to go in with impossible expectations, but I will be going in with expectations. I, I do expect really good things from him. Uh, I expect better things from him than, than like what we're getting from Kishimoto as of late. Uh, 
And thank you all for uh, the people who have have been here and have listened to me just gush about the series on the discords and on Twitter and elsewhere. And uh, this series means a lot to me. And it means a lot when, when these videos are uh, successful as well. Um, so to wrap this up, a little bit of house cleaning, uh, please support my Patreon, uh, follow me on Twitter, join the discord, uh, links will be in the description for, uh, at least Patreon and discord. Um, I do have some quintessential, uh, quintuplet fan fictions. Uh, I have a couple on fanfiction.net. Uh, called After the Confession, which are like just alternate ideas for how the story could have played out with, with each of the girls as the winner. I have one called After the Wedding, which actually just <laughs> with the last chapter just got its canonicity ruined. Because uh, I, I, I said a lot about like Futuro and Yotsuba's relationship and their living situation and what their honeymoon was like. And I was like, no, it's actually this so whatever the the emotions are what matter uh after the wedding is is uh futuro x yotsuba fan fiction where they're already married and they're just dealing with adult stuff uh and then i i also have some on archive of our own i have the first few chapters of the after the confession series uploaded as well as uh i don't know if it's still the only one but when i wrote it, it was the only quintessential smut fic uh so that's something I wrote uh, and that you can find on Archive of Our Own. I'm not going to post a link. You got to find that stuff on your own. Uh, it should be fairly easy. Again, like th there's not a whole lot out there. Uh, part three of the quintessential breakdown. Uh, I'll probably have out in April. I'm probably going to put a uh, put that on the back burner for a bit. Uh, have it come out in April or May. Uh, I definitely want one to come out on May 5th because that's like the big Gotoban Expo Day. Whether that ends up being part three or part four, I don't know. But after part four, there will be a, a indefinite hiatus. Well, not an indefinite hiatus. Uh, part five will come out in October or, or November, depending on uh, the pacing of season two and when exactly it comes out. Uh, but I will be working on that as season two. I will be working on all of those as season two rolls out. Uh, and that's all I, I really wanted to say. Thank you all again and uh, have a nice day. I'm Mediocrity4. Thanks for watching.